Livermorium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol LV and has an atomic number of 116. It is an extremely radioactive element that has only been created in the laboratory and has not been observed in nature. The element is named after the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the United States, which collaborated with the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia to discover Livermorium during experiments made between 2000 and 2006. The name of the laboratory refers to the city of Livermore, California where it is located, which in turn was named after the rancher and landowner Robert Livermore. The name was adopted by IUPAC on May 30, 2012. Four isotopes of Livermorium are known, with mass numbers between 290 and 293 inclusive, the longest lived among them is Liverimorium 293 with a half-life of about 60 milliseconds. A fifth possible isotope with mass number 294 has been reported but not yet confirmed. In the periodic table, it is a p-block transactinide element. It is a member of the seventh period and is placed in group 16 as the heaviest chalcogen, although it has not been confirmed to behave as the heavier homologue to the chalcogen polonium. Livermorium is calculated to have some similar properties to its lighter homologues oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium, and be a post-transition metal, although it should also show several major differences from them. History. Unsuccessful synthesis attempts The first search for element 116, using the reaction between 248 cm and 48 ca, was performed in 1977 by Ken Hewlett and his team at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory They were unable to detect any atoms of livermorium. Yuri Oganessian and his team at the Flare of Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions FLNR in the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research JINR subsequently attempted the reaction in 1978 and met failure. In 1985, a joint experiment between Berkeley and Peter Armbruster's team at GSI, the result was again negative with a calculated cross-section limit of 10 to 100 pb. Work on reactions with 48 Ca, which had proved very useful in the synthesis of nobelium from the NATPB plus 48 Ca reaction, nevertheless continued at Dubna, with a super heavy element separator being developed in 1989, a search for target materials and starting of collaborations with LLNL being started in 1990, production of more intense 48 Ca beams being started in 1996, and preparations for long term experiments with three orders of magnitude higher sensitivity being performed in the early 1990s. This work led directly to the production of new isotopes of elements 112 to 118 in the reactions of 48 Ca with actinide targets and the discovery of the five heaviest elements on the periodic table, fluorovium, moscovium, livermorium, tenosine, and oganesson. In 1995, an international team led by Sigurd Hoffmann at the Gesellschaft für Schwerenunfersschung (GSI) in Darmstadt, Germany attempted to synthesize element 116 in a radiative capture reaction in which the compound nucleus de excites through pure gamma emission without evaporating neutrons between a lead 208 target and selenium-82 projectiles. No atoms of element 116 were identified. <laughs> Unconfirmed discovery claims In late 1998, Polish physicist Robert Smolanczyk published calculations on the fusion of atomic nuclei towards the synthesis of superheavy atoms, including oganesson and livermorium. His calculations suggested that it might be possible to make these two elements by fusing lead with krypton under carefully controlled conditions. In 1999, researchers at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory made use of these predictions and announced the discovery of livermorium and oganesson in a paper published in Physical Review Letters, and very soon after the results were reported in Science. The researchers reported to have performed the reaction. 8,636 kr plus 20,882 petabits 293,118 og plus n 289,116 lv plus alpha the following year, they published a retraction after researchers at other laboratories were unable to duplicate the results and the Berkeley lab itself was unable to duplicate them as well. 
In June 2002, the director of the lab announced that the original claim of the discovery of these two elements had been based on data fabricated by principal author Viktor Ninov. Topic: <laughs> Discovery Livermorium was first synthesized on July 19, 2000, when scientists at Dubna bombarded a curium-248 target with accelerated calcium-48 ions. A single atom was detected, decaying by alpha emission with decay energy 10.54 MeV to an isotope of fluorovium. The results were published in December 2000. 24,896 cm plus 4,820 ca 296,116 lv asterisk 293,116 lv plus 310 n 289,114 florida plus alpha the daughter fluorovium isotope had properties matching those of a fluorovium isotope first synthesized in June 1999, which was originally assigned to 288 florida, implying an assignment of the the parent Livermorium isotope to 292 LV. Later work in December 2002 indicated that the synthesized fluorovium isotope was actually 289 Florida, and hence the assignment of the synthesized Livermorium atom was correspondingly altered to 293 LV. <laughs> Road to confirmation Two further atoms were reported by the Institute during their second experiment during April to May 2001. In the same experiment they also detected a decay chain which corresponded to the first observed decay of fluorovium in December 1998, which had been assigned to 289 Florida. No fluorovium isotope with the same properties as the one found in December 1998 has ever been observed again, even in repeats of the same reaction. Later it was found that 289 Florida has different decay properties and that the first observed fluorovium atom may have been its nuclear isomer 289 MFL. The observation of 289 MFL in this series of experiments may indicate the formation of a parent isomer of livermorium, namely 293 MLV, or a rare and previously unobserved decay branch of the already discovered state 293 LV to 289 MFL. Neither possibility is certain, and research is required to positively assign this activity. Another possibility suggested is the assignment of the original December 1998 atom to 290 Florida, as the low beam energy used in that original experiment makes the 2N channel plausible. Its parent could then conceivably be 294 LV, but this assignment would still need confirmation in the 248 cm 48 CA 2N 294 LV reaction. The team repeated the experiment in April to May 2005 and detected eight atoms of livermorium. The measured decay data confirmed the assignment of the first discovered isotope as 293 LV. In this run, the team also observed the isotope 292 LV for the first time. In further experiments from 2004 to 2006, the team replaced the curium-248 target with the lighter curium isotope curium-245. Here evidence was found for the two isotopes 290 LV and 291 LV. In May 2009, the IUPAC IUPAP joint working party reported on the discovery of copernicium and acknowledged the discovery of the isotope 283 CN. This implied the de facto discovery of the LIVERMORIUM 291 isotope, from the acknowledgement of the data relating to its granddaughter 283 CN, although the Livermorium data was not absolutely critical for the demonstration of Copernicium's discovery. Also in 2009, confirmation from Berkeley and the Gesellschaft für Schwerenentferschung (GSI) in Germany came for the fluorovium isotopes 286 to 289, immediate daughters of the four known livermorium isotopes. In 2011, IUPAC evaluated the Dubna team experiments of 2000 to 2006. Whereas they found the earliest data not involving 291 LV and 283 CN inconclusive, the results of 2004-2006 were accepted as identification of livermorium, and the element was officially recognized as having been discovered. The synthesis of livermorium has been separately confirmed at the GSI 2012 and Riken 2014 and 2016. 
In the 2016 Riken experiment, one atom that may be assigned to 294 LV was seemingly detected, alpha decaying to 290 Florida and 286 CN, which underwent spontaneous fission. However, the first alpha from the Livermorium nuclide produced was missed, and the assignment to 294 LV is still uncertain though plausible. Naming Using Mendeleev's nomenclature for unnamed and undiscovered elements, Livermorium is sometimes called Acapolonium. In 1979 IUPAC recommended that the placeholder systematic element name Unanhexium be used until the discovery of the element was confirmed and a name was decided. Although widely used in the chemical community on all levels, from chemistry classrooms to advanced textbooks, the recommendations were mostly ignored among scientists in the field, who called it element 116, with the symbol of E116, 116, or even simply 116. According to IUPAC recommendations, the discoverer or discoverers of a new element have the right to suggest a name. The discovery of Livermorium was recognized by the Joint Working Party JWP of IUPAC on 1 June 2011, along with that of Fluorovium. According to the vice director of JINR, the Dubna team originally wanted to name element 116 Moscovium, after the Moscow Oblast in which Dubna is located, but it was later decided to use this name for element 115 instead. The name Livermorium and the symbol LV were adopted on May 23, 2012. The name recognizes the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, within the city of Livermore, California, USA, which collaborated with JINR on the discovery. The city in turn is named after the American rancher Robert Livermore, a naturalized Mexican citizen of English birth. The naming ceremony for Florovium and Livermorium was held in Moscow on October 24, 2012. Predicted properties Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nuclear stability and isotopes Livermorium is expected to be near an island of stability centered on Copernicium element 112 and Fluorovium element 114. The reasons for the presence of this island are still not well understood. Due to the expected high fission barriers, any nucleus within this island of stability exclusively decays by alpha decay and perhaps some electron capture and beta decay. While the known isotopes of Livermorium do not actually have enough neutrons to be on the island of stability, they can be seen to approach the island, as the heavier isotopes are generally the longer-lived ones. Superheavy elements are produced by nuclear fusion. These fusion reactions can be divided into hot and cold fusion, depending on the excitation energy of the compound nucleus produced. In hot fusion reactions, very light, high-energy projectiles are accelerated toward very heavy targets actinides, giving rise to compound nuclei at high excitation energy approximately 40 to 50 MeV that may either fission or evaporate several 3 to 5 neutrons. In cold fusion reactions which use heavier projectiles, typically from the fourth period, and lighter targets, usually lead and bismuth, the produced fused nuclei have a relatively low excitation energy approximately 10 to 20 MeV, which decreases the probability that these products will undergo fission reactions. As the fused nuclei cool to the ground state, they require emission of only one or two neutrons. Hot fusion reactions tend to produce more neutron-rich products because the actinides have the highest neutron-to-proton ratios of any elements that can presently be made in macroscopic quantities. Important information could be gained regarding the properties of superheavy nuclei by the synthesis of more livermorium isotopes, specifically those with a few neutrons more or less than the known ones 286 LV, 287 LV, 288 LV, 289 LV, 294 LV and 295 LV. This is possible because there are many reasonably long-lived isotopes of curium that can be used to make a target. The light isotopes can be made by fusing curium-243 with calcium-48. 
They would undergo a chain of alpha decays, ending at transactinide isotopes that are too light to achieve by hot fusion and too heavy to be produced by cold fusion. The synthesis of the heavy isotopes 294 LV and 295 LV could be accomplished by fusing the heavy curium isotope curium 250 with calcium 48. The cross section of this nuclear reaction would be about 1 picobarn, though it is not yet possible to produce 250 cm in the quantities needed for target manufacture. After a few alpha decays, these livermorium isotopes would reach nuclides at the line of beta stability. Additionally, electron capture may also become an important decay mode in this region, allowing affected nuclei to reach the middle of the island. For example, it is predicted that 295 LV would alpha decay to 291 Florida, which would undergo successive electron capture to 291 NH and then 291 CN which is expected to be in the middle of the island of stability and have a half-life of about 1,200 years, affording the most likely hope of reaching the middle of the island using current technology. A drawback is that the decay properties of superheavy nuclei this close to the line of beta stability are largely unexplored. Other possibilities to synthesize nuclei on the island of stability include quasi-fission, partial fusion followed by fission of a massive nucleus. Such nuclei tend to fission, expelling doubly magic or nearly doubly magic fragments such as calcium 40, tin 132, lead 208, or bismuth 209. Recently it has been shown that the multi-nucleon transfer reactions in collisions of actinide nuclei such as uranium and curium might be used to synthesize the neutron-rich super-heavy nuclei located at the island of stability, although formation of the lighter elements nobelium or seaborgium is more favored. One last possibility to synthesize isotopes near the island is to use controlled nuclear explosions to create a neutron flux high enough to bypass the gaps of instability at 258 to 260 fm and at mass number 275, atomic numbers 104 to 108, mimicking the R process in which the actinides were first produced in nature and the gap of instability around radon bypassed. Some such isotopes especially 291 CN and 293 CN may even have been synthesized in nature, but would have decayed away far too quickly with half-lives of only thousands of years and be produced in far too small quantities about 10-12 the abundance of lead to be detectable as primordial nuclides today outside cosmic rays. Topic. Physical and atomic In the periodic table, livermorium is a member of group 16, the calcogens, in the periodic table, below oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. Every previous chalcogen has six electrons in its valence shell, forming a valence electron configuration of Ns2Np4. In Livermorium's case, the trend should be continued and the valence electron configuration is predicted to be 7s 27 p4, therefore, Livermorium will have some similarities to its lighter congeners. Differences are likely to arise. A large contributing effect is the spin orbit so interaction, the mutual interaction between the electron's motion and spin. It is especially strong for the superheavy elements because their electrons move much faster than in lighter atoms at velocities comparable to the speed of light. In relation to livermorium atoms, it lowers the 7s and the 7p electron energy levels, stabilizing the corresponding electrons, but two of the 7p electron energy levels are stabilized more than the other four. The stabilization of the 7s electrons is called the inert pair effect, and the effect tearing the 7p subshell into the more stabilized and the less stabilized parts is called subshell splitting. Computation chemists see the split as a change of the second azimuthal quantum number L from 1 to 1 half and 3 halves for the more stabilized and less stabilized parts of the 7p subshell, respectively. The 7p 1 half subshell acts as a second inert pair, though not as inert as the 7's electrons, while the 7p 3 halves subshell can easily participate in chemistry. For many theoretical purposes, the valence electron configuration may be represented to reflect the 7p subshell split as 7s 27p 21 27s p 23 halves. The inert pair effects in livermorium should be even stronger than for polonium and hence the plus 2 oxidation state becomes more stable than the plus 4 state, which would be stabilized only by the most electronegative ligands. This is reflected in the expected ionization energies of livermorium, where there are large gaps between the second and third ionization 
stabilization energies corresponding to the breaching of the unreactive 7p1/2 shell and fourth and fifth ionization energies. Indeed, the 7s electrons are expected to be so inert that the plus 6 state will not be attainable. The melting and boiling points of livermorium are expected to continue the trends down the calcogens, thus livermorium should melt at a higher temperature than polonium, but boil at a lower temperature. It should also be denser than polonium alpha LV, 12.9 g per cc, alpha PO, 9.2 g per cc, like polonium it should also form an alpha and a beta allotrope. The electron of the hydrogen like livermorium atom oxidized so that it only has one electron, LV115+, is expected to move so fast that it has a mass 1.86 times that of a stationary electron, due to relativistic effects. For comparison, the figures for hydrogen like polonium and tellurium are expected to be 1.26 and 1.080 respectively. Chemical. Livermorium is projected to be the fourth member of the 7p series of chemical elements and the heaviest member of group 16 in the periodic table, below polonium. While it is the least theoretically studied of the 7p elements, its chemistry is expected to be quite similar to that of polonium. The group oxidation state of plus 6 is known for all the calcogens apart from oxygen which lacks available d orbitals for expansion of its octet and is itself one of the strongest oxidizing agents among the chemical elements. Oxygen is thus limited to a maximum plus 2 state, exhibited in the fluoride OF2. The plus 4 state is known for sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium, undergoing a shift in stability from reducing for sulfur IV and selenium IV through being the most stable state for tellurium IV to being oxidizing in polonium IV. This suggests a decreasing stability for the higher oxidation states as the group is descended due to the increasing importance of relativistic effects, especially the inert pair effect. The most stable oxidation state of livermorium should thus be plus 2, with a rather unstable plus 4 state. The plus 2 state should be about as easy to form as it is for beryllium and magnesium, and the plus 4 state should only be achieved with strongly electronegative ligands, such as in livermorium IV fluoride LVF4. The plus 6 state should not exist at all due to the very strong stabilization of the 7s electrons, making the valence core of livermorium only 4 electrons. The lighter calcogens are also known to form a minus 2 state as oxide, sulfide, selenide, telluride, and polonide, due to the destabilization of livermorium's 7p3 halves subshell. The minus 2 state should be very unstable for livermorium, whose chemistry should be essentially purely cationic, though the larger subshell and spinner energy splittings of livermorium as compared to polonium should make LV2 minus slightly more stable than expected. Livermorane LVH2 would be the heaviest chalcogen hydride and the heaviest heaviest homologue of water the lighter ones being H2S, hydrogen selenide, hydrogen telluride, and polonium-2 hydride. Polane polonium hydride is a more covalent compound than most metal hydrides because polonium straddles the border between metals and metalloids and has some nonmetallic properties, it is intermediate between a hydrogen halide like hydrogen chloride HCl and a metal hydride like stannane tin hydride. Livermorane should continue this trend, it should be a hydride rather than a livermoride, but would still be a covalent molecular compound. Spin-orbit interactions are expected to make the LVH bond longer than expected simply from periodic trends alone, and make the HLVH bond angle larger than expected, this is theorized to be because the unoccupied 8s orbitals are relatively low in energy and can hybridize with the valence 7p orbitals of livermorium. This phenomenon, dubbed supervalent hybridization, is not particularly uncommon in non-relativistic regions in the periodic table, for example, molecular calcium difluoride has 4s and 3d involvement from the calcium atom. The heavier livermorium dihalides are predicted to be linear, but the lighter ones are predicted to be bent. <laughs> Experimental chemistry Unambiguous determination of the chemical characteristics of livermorium has not yet been established. In 2011, experiments were conducted to create nihonium, fluorovium, and moscovium isotopes in the reactions between calcium-48 projectiles and targets of americium-243 and plutonium-244. 
The targets included lead and bismuth impurities and hence some isotopes of bismuth and polonium were generated in nucleon transfer reactions. This, while an unforeseen complication, could give information that would help in the future chemical investigation of the heavier homologues of bismuth and polonium, which are respectively moscovium and livermorium. The produced nuclides bismuth-213 and polonium-212 m were transported as the hydrides 213 bismuth-3 hydride and 212 MPOH2 at 850 degrees Celsius through a quartz wool filter unit held with tantalum, showing that these hydrides were surprisingly thermally stable, although their heavier congeners MCH3 and LVH2 would be expected to be less thermally stable from simple extrapolation of periodic trends in the P-block. Further calculations on the stability and electronic structure of bismuth 3 hydride, MCH3, polonium 2 hydride, and LVH2 are needed before chemical investigations take place. Moscovium and livermorium are expected to be volatile enough as pure elements for them to be chemically investigated in the near future. A property livermorium would then share with its lighter congener polonium, though the short half lives of all presently known livermorium isotopes means that the element is still inaccessible to experimental chemistry equals equals notes